video in today's video we are going to go over the slice function in Cricut Design Space and a lot of people that are new to Cricut Design Space um, sometimes really don't know what the slice um, function is so I'm gonna go over it if you're looking for the slice function it is gonna be down here so let me just upload an image and also um, some shapes so I can show you um, some of the things that you can do with that slice function. Okay, so I have many here and I'm gonna bring in several um, Shapes and we are gonna get into it guys. Oops That's not what I wanted to do. So and a star. Okay, so oop, 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 oop. So Let's do the shapes first. So let's say if I have this heart, let me change the color and this is where you would change the color and you have the star um let's do this let's 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 change it a little bit let's change it let's say i have my name i'm gonna type in my name and i am going to bring it here and then what i'm gonna do is change the font to something prettier right let's change it to this and I'm gonna make it bigger okay and then I am going to weld it and I'm gonna tell you guys in in a, in a little bit why welding is very important okay so now let's say I wanted my name in the middle of the heart but you know I wanted to have it cut so not to layer my name if that makes sense because if I have it like this that means this would be you know vinyl the heart and then my name will also be in vinyl but you don't want to do that because you don't want to layer the vinyl on top of another vinyl so you, all you're going to do is select it and you're going to click on slice down here and then when you slice you have this um you can you can delete these or you can use them in something else so that's how you do it you can do it with a shape you can do it with letters you can do it whatever you want okay so let me bring this front right ooh, right now let's see if I wanted to add a star I'm gonna slice it and then I have a star you can delete this delete this delete this and then you have a, and then you will just simply cut all of this with a vinyl and then you would weed this out and that's it guys so this is how you would use the slice um, function with something like a shape or something like that. Another way that I use the slice function is let's say if I wanted to um, make this larger than the mat, even with print and cut, and she's so big, and I'm like, okay, I wanna make her 24 inches tall, but I know I don't have a printer that's gonna be able to print that. But I'm like, okay, if I slice her like right here under her neck or so, or if I slice her down here, maybe I can get a part right here. So let me make this, let me minimize this a little bit so you guys can see. So I will get a shape and usually I get a square. And then I will take the square and I would pretty much play around with it let's say I'm gonna make it bigger pretty much play around with it and I wouldn't really do this like this with this one in particular um, I would probably use a SVG instead of a PNG because right now this is a PNG um, so I probably wouldn't use a PNG I would use a SVG and then um, do larger than the mat with layer in cardstock um, instead of printing it but if you had no option but to print it you can basically do this select that and then slice and once you slice you can throw this out you can throw this out now you have this and now you're able to you have this that you're working with so you can print this separate and then you bring in another shape 
and again I'm not really being very precise with this this is probably not the way I would do this but another way I would do I wouldn't want to cut her face um, because you can see the seams on the face right I would really like mess around with her hair bow more or so the face okay and I'm gonna show you guys one more thing that I like to do it's not necessary but I like to do it okay so let's say I would probably get the idea I'm not gonna bring it but like I said I probably won't even do many like that <laughs> I probably won't even do her like that but just giving you guys an idea then you slice delete delete and now you have this piece and that piece right what I would do with this piece and I'm gonna show you because you see how it has like the like all of this size right here like it's giving you like all that size 14 by 21 14.21 by 14.71 I'll take another shape and I know this is time consuming guys and then I will simply put it over her the rest of her body and then select and then slice right so you see now it, it's now 10.33 by 12.27 so I would delete this I would delete that and then that's it and then I would go on to cut and then I would put them together like so okay so that is another way that you can use the slice function um, you can do that with PNG and SVG as you please. So, a couple of things that I want to go over with that feature. If something is not welded, let's say if you wanted to do, I'm going to bring in a couple of hearts. I'm going to change this color right here to a purple. And then I'm going to change this color to a red. And then I'm gonna duplicate it a couple of times. So let's say I wanted to add a couple of hearts in here, but I wanted to slice out the hearts because um, for whatever reason, right? This is what I wanted to do. And now I'm like, okay, I got everything together. I am going to simply highlight it, um, you know, select everything and slice. I won't be able to slice it. And I'm gonna tell you why. You only can slice one piece or welded pieces okay so now if i put one right and select yeah the slice option is here so what i would do i'll bring this back right and then i'm like okay this is how i want it if this is how i want my hearts i'm gonna move this back and then i'm gonna select these and then I am going to weld. So when I weld it, it's all one piece now. But remember what I said? It has to be one piece for it to be able to slice. So even though you have multiple pieces here, but because you welded them, it made it into one piece. So now I'm gonna put that here and then I'm gonna select. And now you see that my slice option is available. So I'm able to slice. I'm able to slice right so that is how you do that with multiple images so yeah guys that is it with the slicing function in Cricut design space pretty easy straightforward um, you know at the more that you get experience with designing you will find yourself using these functions a little bit more but again i will be going over all of these functions down here one by one but again but then again today was 
only about the slice. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want me to do another video on something else. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.